Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, David Burroughs, and this is episode number 92. Hello, everybody. Once again, and as always, thank you for taking the time to stop on by right here on the show and take the time, please, if you would, if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel and share this video with five new friends every week so we can get the word out about the show and bring you bigger and better things. All right, well, let's jump into it uh, first. Well, I guess I should talk about what happened this past weekend where I was. Um, I didn't go out and get any video footage. I took a vacation with the family. We had our first family camping vacation together and that was definitely uh, interesting uh the sun got uh, eaten up quite a bit by the uh, mosquitoes and everything but all in all we had a great time down near april washway and uh it was very very enjoyable so i took a vacation from taking the camera out uh but i uh, hope you had a great long weekend i know captain kids day they were very very pleased uh it was raining where we were but it didn't rain where they were so i was happy for that i spoke to jeff dale one of the organizers and he said they were very very pleased with the turnout uh, everybody had a lot of fun and the bands were awesome. So congratulations to Captain Kids Day and we're looking forward to hopefully being there next year for that. All right, well, let's talk about uh, this band that we're going to have an interview with, an, uh, an extensive interview, if you will. They're coming to Sarnia August the 24th for the Indie Festival. Indie Fest happening August the 24th down at the Stubborn Mule that will start 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll share more of that with you later on in the show. Abandoned Souls, they are rockers from London and uh, they're going to really rock your socks off, if you will. In fact, they've got a show that uh, they're experimenting with that they've never, ever done anything like before. They haven't even told me. So uh, looking forward to that as well. And they just released a new video that we're going to talk about here as well. So we had an interview. We were only able to get James Todd, the uh, lead singer and bass player from Abandoned Souls on here. But uh, he took the time to uh, Skype interview with us. So... Sit back, relax, turn up the speakers. We're going to have this interview from a member of Abandoned Souls. Here's James Todd. Take a look at this, and we'll be back. Yeah, all right. Well, this week on the show, very excited, of course. I'm always excited when we have guests here on the show, but I'm especially excited because uh, the band that we're going to talk to you about coming to Indie Fest August the 24th at the Stubborn Mule, the All Day Festival. Doors will open at noon, and we'll start a show at 1 o'clock, the Youth Talent Showcase. But in later in the evening, for the big kids, if you will, uh, our special guest here tonight, Abandoned Souls, and one of the members, James Todd, joining us. How are you doing, James? Awesome. You're very good. Hey, thanks hey, for thanks taking for the time to join us here. We're uh, really excited at Indie Fest to have the Souls coming down from London, Ontario. Uh, and really some perfect timing in there having you here and some of the things that are happening with the band and souls we want to talk about uh, your latest video in a darkened room and that's from the uh, yep. damned if you don't uh, album i love the title of that album by the way cool. what's the reason behind Thanks. that title is there is there i always ask you know where do the names and titles come from was there where did that title well it kind of speaks to our sordid history with the band. Uh, that's our third studio album, and we've seen, we've we've been uh, up against the wall many a time as far as adversity goes, and uh, we always persevere. We always do what we have to do to come on the other side better than before. So it's that that same, you know, kind of came from that, you know. And if you don't keep on trying to do it and keep on, you know, pushing well, forward, if you don't try, guaranteed a, a, a no winner, right? Exactly. Awesome. Well, listen, let's talk about In a Room. Uh, the, the song itself, how long has that been around for you? Uh, we released that album last June, so it's been just over a year that that album been out. And the uh, first video we released from that album was for uh, Pointy Fingers, and we released that last August. So in the meantime, we've been playing shows, writing new material, and finally we decided we want to get this next video right. out sooner than later. Right. So finally, we just released it last awesome, year. Awesome, man. What I've seen, uh, I really enjoy it. Definitely professionally put together seems like a lot of effort. Do you have? Can you? How, how was the video put together? Was a uh, professional videographer? Did you guys do it yourself, or where was that done? Well, this one we actually did the whole thing ourselves. We recorded it. Steve shot some of the footage. I shot some of the footage, depending on who had to be in it. And then all the editing I did myself in my studio, and uh, just it's partially why it took a little longer than we would have liked, but. 
when you're doing it all yourself and learning as you go for certain things yeah. it takes time. So, and we're pretty we're pretty picky about what we do put out there, whether it's music or video. We want it to be the best it can be. It's a great creative process. So, you know, things get created in as we go, and we just want it in the end to be as good as it can be. And, so and sometimes it takes time. And professional rockers that you are it definitely shows in your video and it sounds in your music where does where does all the ideas and uh, uh the writing come from is the writing uh everybody contribute to that or has everybody got a different role or yeah yeah uh, everybody contributes we, generally what will happen is maybe i'll show up with a few riffs or derek will show up with a few riffs and we'll all get together in the jam room and we'll just start jamming out those riffs and see where it takes us. New parts will spawn from that and right. usually all the vocals will come later. We'll get the music, you know, hashed out and then I'll take the music home and bring it into the studio and I'll just start, you know, firing off ideas vocally until so I come up with something I like. like. A, a new journey every time if you will then. We just kinda see where it all takes us and just let the creative process just, you know, go where it goes. Right. Now what about the history of the band and soul? So how long have you guys been together like like a band and soul? Uh, the band actually formed in 2004, and we took the first two years just in the basement to just came up with. And once we came up with enough to show it was good, we said, all right, well, let's push forward with this and let's do the album. So we did our first album. It was released in 2006. And that was called Circle of Shadows, and that was with uh, our original drummer, our original singer. That album was out for about a year before things changed up for the very first time right. of many. Yeah, well, that, that's so, the point of being in a band. Going, you know, I think you got to grow through that before you get your foundation set and then oh, yeah. you can build the house, right? All, all bands go through that kind of stuff, and I think the difference between us and a lot of bands out there is that what we've been through as a band crumbles most bands, and they are no longer. Right. We decided to take the other route and persevere, and when we're you know met with a situation like a... It's going to be a show unlike any that this band has ever done, and I don't want to give away too much because it's kind of a, let's call it a uh, experiment. We are going to do something that this band has never done before. First time ever we'll be on the Indie Fest stage, and we'll see what happens from there. Hopefully, well, that's awesome, I'll, and I, I'm getting the chills up here because, uh, quite honestly, to share with the viewers, uh, it, it, you know, and I'm part of the Indie Fest, you haven't even told me, so... Um, it's, it's really going to be a, an incredible surprise. Uh, to me. I, I haven't been given any hints either, so I'm okay with that. I'm excited to see you guys coming down here uh, August the 24th, and we really appreciate you uh, uh, spending time on, on your time and your dime to come down here and perform. And uh, Hey, we got to move on here, James, but thanks so much yep. for being here on the show, and uh, we're looking forward to having you here August 24th for IndieFest. But right now... Um, for those that haven't seen it, we're going to play it for you right now. This is from the Damned If You Don't album, and uh, here it is. It's called In a Darkened Room. Crank up the speakers on the computer. You're going to love this, Rockers. Yeah. James Todd, once again, we'll see you in August Thanks, of 24. Dave. All right, Looking everybody, here we go. It. Once again, In a Darkened Room, and it's Abandoned Souls.
All right, well, there's our friend James Todd from Abandoned Souls. Thank you so much, James, for spending time with us here. Looking forward to having Abandoned Souls here in Sarnia on August the 24th. We did have some of the other band members online, but Skype just uh, wasn't cooperating. Technology is great when it works. But James Todd and the rest of the guys in Abandoned Soul, looking forward to having them here. And, of course, a great video in a darkened room from their latest album, Damned If You Don't. Now, the guys have been telling me uh, they've got a brand new show, they, something they're experimenting with they've never, ever done before. They haven't even told me. I have no idea. Um, I'm not kidding. So I'm just as excited as everybody else. So that'll be happening August the 24th. Now, Indie Fest. Yes, this is going to be really cool. Doors open at noon. You heard me. Saturday, August 24th, doors open at noon. Show begins at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, what are we doing? It's the Youth Talent Showcase. That's right. Indie Fest wants the youth to come out and perform as well. If you're between the ages of 14 and 19, go to IndieFest.ca and apply. Here's what you do. No karaoke singing. Don't want any of the background. we got to play an instrument. Now, if you don't play an instrument and you just sing, you can have somebody else. All the rules uh, are on the Indie Fest website. And we're going to give away some recording studio time. Actually, we're not. Sugar Tone Productions, Dave Allen, the owner of Sugar Tone Productions, uh, wanted to be a part of supporting independent music. First place, we'll get four hours recording studio time. Second place, two hours. And third place, one hour, as well as some other prizes for all the performers that are going to be there. We'll announce that as the date gets closer. But we want you to play. So go to IndieFest.ca if you're between the ages of 14 and 19 and uh, get those applications in there. We want the youth to come out and have some fun. And the afternoon, it's absolutely absolutely free from noon till 4 30 the afternoon showcase will be absolutely free come on down and hang out and support independent music for the youth now come at 5 30 uh, we're going to be getting ready for our bands to go on southern fried incorporated from sarnia will be playing great southern rockers and then iron shirt from sarnia uh, it's kind of like sublime type music they're going to be in there as well abandoned souls will go on third zealots desire is coming back and to finish off the night Everglow will be here, and they've got some uh, new things going on in their show as well. So five bands, and here's the deal. Minimum $5 donation at the door for the whole evening, the whole day. If you want to donate more to support independent music, that's completely up to you. We wanted to make it simply affordable. Five bands and a showcase during the day. $5 donation at the door. That's all we're looking for. There's going to be lots of sponsors down there, vending booths, there'll be some food, and a few other surprises that we'll share with as the date gets closer. So be sure to check that out, IndieFest. .ca. All right, well, let's talk about more what's coming up this weekend. Really excited about this, the Can-Am Powerboat Races. Yes, uh, saw Max Major. He was already out on a boat earlier today uh, at the recording. of At least this is uh, Tuesday. He was out 125 miles an hour on a powerboat. That's pretty darn cool. So uh, the powerboat race is very exciting. But what's even more exciting is who's coming to town. 5440 will be here. And, of course, the Trues. How do you not know the Trues? Just saw them recently down in London at Rock the Park, and now they're coming to Sarnia. I think it's uh, their 19th time performing in Sarnia, so uh, I think Sarnians love the truce for sure. Uh, you can get a weekend pass, 60 bucks. You can't beat that. The boats are going to be down on display as well. You can grab a beer and go for a walk. It's an all-ages event, and we're really excited because the show camera has been invited to be there. We'll be down there getting behind-the-scenes video footage. Uh -huh, we might have a few special treats for you there. So get down this weekend to the KM Powerboat Race. It's going to be a lot of fun, great entertainment. And IndieFest will be down there with the booth. We'll be promoting the uh, IndieFest show August 24th at the Stubborn Mule. And we'll have some special things down there as well and lots of other vendors. So a great, great weekend for sure. All right, well, uh, that's about all the time I got for you. Don't forget, if you want to be here on the show this week, I know it was quick, but hey, you know, uh, I took a vacation and, well, that's just the way it is. It's a quick week. If you want to be here on the show, show send me an email to the show at davidburrows.ws we'll get you on here we'll have some fun with you we'll come to your event and share it with the world that's all the time i got for you have a great week and an even better weekend we'll see you next time right here in the show bye for now